Before we head off to meet Pippa Funnel, I want to thank Squarespace, who are the wonderful sponsors of this video, and I'll tell you more about them at the end. Good morning, everybody. This is the creepiest lighting ever. And welcome back to my channel. And welcome to making history today with me and my horses, because it is currently about 6 a.m. and we're getting ready to take one of my gorgeous horses to the London International Horse Show, aka Old Olympia, and I can't believe it. So I'm going to be vlogging this entire journey because I, for one, have no idea what it's like taking a horse into, okay, not quite central London, but London nevertheless, unloading them indoors and stabling them in the XL. So I'm going to show you exactly what it's like. But in the meantime, I need to make sure that I've got my hat here because I'm going to be riding one somewhere. I can't believe these words are coming out of that. Here she is, the London pony. Not looking too chuffed about your city break so close to Christmas. It'll be nice. You can go to some of the markets, go on the London Eye, see Big Ben. She's not vibing for it, but it's fine. She'll vibe for it once she's there. Okay, I'm gonna need to take this rug off. You'll boil if you wear this rug in the lorry. All aboard. All aboard. Let's get going, Jam Bam. Jam just got to have second thoughts. Let me off. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Rather dark, but we are good to go. Right, let's go. Let's go London. Bank. I heard you're the driver, mate. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. On our way. On our way. So, for people that regularly watch my channel, you'll be like, why on earth is Meg driving? That looks extremely dangerous. <laughs> but it's fine because we're in a hired three and a half ton. Because when you go into London, one of the things on there's a congestion charge and, and an ultra low, low emission emissions. charge. Right, there's, there's extra stuff when you go into London and firstly it's easy to drive a small box around London. Secondly, this is more eco-efficient than big old Daphne. It means we can share the driving. <laughs> and it's the £35 charge. <laughs> but yeah, the other thing is that we can share the driving. We can share yeah. the driving because it is... Hobbit gets the rest. Exactly. It's what, three and a half in a car? Or no, three in a car, but probably yeah. four in a box, do we think? Yep. Maybe. Quite a long way for us. Uh, but yeah, no going well so far it's light now which is good finally we're hoping we'll be there like 10 30 11 ish dreamy I reckon 11 11 30 yeah, yeah. really it's saying we're gonna get there at 10 30 and that's like normal speed oh okay, good not very good well in that case that does add an element of stress because we're filming for the FBI at 12 latest well it's all right you can go and if you know I'll hang on and well, no, this whole video is about sitting horse into London. Oh. Ah, let's step on it. Okie dokie. So, this is the fun part of trying to Lowry navigate ways. where we go. Apparently, you need to go upstairs. And that's part of the XL there. Right, I swear. It says Lorry Way's left. Yeah. Ask we did him. say a left. Ha ha ha. Up we go. Thank you. What a legend. Right. Now where? <laughs> now, it's something about around, or maybe we've gone past that roundabout. I guess just keep going South until- Glory Way or Northern Glory Way. He said upstairs, so I'd say up the ramp. I feel like potentially they could have put a few more signs. Yeah, I'm not sure the signage is up to scrap. No. <laughs> right, about the Thames, is that the Thames? Yeah, it's cool at the Thames. Oh wow. Oh wow. Should we slow and talk to these yes, lads? <laughs> Hit the brakes in. <laughs> beep, beep. Right, guys. <laughs> Would not recommend to a friend driving around around the XL. It's uh, quite confusing. Anywho, we found our drop-off zone right. onto a mat. Perfect. Hello. Are you dropping off on the opposite side? Yeah. Uh, it's on yeah the other side. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, we made it. Dun dun dun, we're here. Hey, good girl. Hello. Oh, oh jammy. Really hot 
Carpet jammy. Haven't you? You took into there, we're gonna go get some water, right? Right, so I've been in charge of vlogging while Maggie has run off to film. So <laughs> don't really know what she wants filming. So at the moment we're just trying to get everything out of the lorry. Look how messy it is in there. Um so like feed and stuff, because we are eventually gonna have to move this out of here down to parking. And obviously that's gonna be a lot of stuff to carry up should we need it. So we're trying to leave like feed and things outside the stable. So get all that ready now. Um Gonna give us some water and then we're gonna get changed and try and run and find Meggie, I think. Right, guys, perfect angle. We're just carrying all the stuff down to Jammy. Anna's going above and beyond the call of duty. She's carrying Jammy's feet with her teeth. <laughs> oh, my God, look at her. She's so good. What the hell? Well done, Jammy. <laughs> Go. Oh, you've seen someone else. Oh. Look at all this stuff that we've just managed to carry over, yeah. guys. Meggie, look at that. Oh, oh, Jamie, do you want some feed? Jamie is pretty settled with some food and some haylage and hay and some water down there. We've just taken your rug off, haven't we, Jamie? Because we think you're a little bit warm. And now, back to the lorry for the third trip, is this? Just count. <laughs> There's some stuff outside ready. Right, so you're gonna take Jammy Jam. <laughs> right, I've managed to lug as much stuff as I can over. Jeanette has just gone to move the lorry so we can get the horses off on our space. And guys, we're right next to Laura Colin. Fangling right now, but I just nicely smiled because I thought it'd be embarrassing if I'm like, hi, can we get a picture? Right, Jammy Jam, I'm just waiting for a text off your mother to say that she's okay. But you seem pretty content. Ooh. There's a little horse there trying to say hello to me. Hey, and I'm back. Sorry guys, I had to run off and film a quick video for the FBI with my co-star. Hello. Hey. Co-star, just quick coffee stop actually. In the, uh, coffee stop. Um, yeah, so I've not even seen where Jamie's staying where I can actually see her right now. Ooh, that's strong. Oh, why are you going to need it? It's got, <laughs> I've got a long day ahead. So, I have been told that we're stabled next to none other than Laura Collett, which is pretty cool. She was here doing her own masterclass, I believe. Hi, Jams! And, uh, safe to say Jammy's the smallest one in her block. Hello! Hello! Damn, you're in London International Horse Show. That's nuts. You don't understand how crazy that is. She says I do, and it's fine. I don't really care, Mum. Also, can we just appreciate that the horses are on the carpet? You've never been on carpet before, have you, my darling? You ready? <laughs> seem happy in there. And you see your proper mummy. You see your proper mummy, mummy. She says, I'm sure. She says, Mum, where are we? Turmeric nose. <laughs> Do you think they turn the lights off in here at night? No, she's gonna need a sleep mask. Oh no, we forgot your sleep mask. <laughs> we forgot. She's a mum, you idiot. We'll put a tail bandage around your eyes. She says bye. <laughs> she says, I'm so sick of your nonsense. Yeah. Oh, we've got a little stable stain. Oh, oh, oh gosh, she's so cute. She is so cute. So what have we got here? Yeah, we've got treats. our silver more. Have I got treats? Yeah, of course yeah, I've got treats. Yeah, Should you have a swing yeah. I don't oh, know. Really we've got our feed, we've got our grooming kit, we've got rugs, we've got boots. <laughs> yeah. I should have done because I'm starving if I haven't been. Good girl. Righty ho. Hi, Who have we found? Hello, Bam. So, 
we're going to go for a little walk around now, probably this horse area. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are not wrong, it is tea time. Obviously, we're in the middle of London, so there's nowhere to graze jam, which is a bit different for, than going eventing, but we're gonna go and find a little horse walk so she can stretch her legs oh, yeah, a little bit. Wait, She'll wait. Have her dinner. We're doing arena familiarization tomorrow morning now. We were gonna do it this evening, but because the warm up is all open to the public, everything's got to be quite scheduled. So yeah, we're gonna do it tomorrow morning now. That's fine, jam bam, isn't it? You can do a little walkie this evening. Have your feed. Oh no, you've got your carrot. And then we'll oh, wrap up this video. And the next one will be the demo. I'll show you where we're gonna go. Walk back first. Oh, right, Jam Bam. Where should we go? It feels really weird to be walking a horse on carpet and like under all of these false lights. Very odd. We've got our very smart golden paste company rug on there, of course. We have bought our Termaraid with us. Right, Bam Bam. Not entirely sure where to take her because I'm kind of reluctant to take her outside because I don't really know how enclosed it is and to be fair there's actually quite a lot of space to walk on here. Typical jam though we have to absolutely march everywhere we go so I'll go for a wander up and down here. Up there are the FBI stables very much not allowed to go in there I mean, I don't know how far up here we're allowed to walk. Oh, I'll keep going. It feels so weird having a horse here. Just want to go and walk her off into the shopping. Good girl. Love you. You're a very special girl. You made a lot of dreams come true, Jamie, haven't you? Me. Having one of those pinch me moments, to be honest, guys. It feels so surreal to be here with a horse. I know we're only doing a demo. Um, it's just crazy, honestly. Like, so, so thankful to all of you for making this possible. Because to be walking a horse around the London International Horse Show for any reason is just amazing. Absolute dream come true. I'm feeling quite emotional with you right now, Jam Bam. You've made a lot of dreams come true, haven't you, lady? Anyway, let's give you guys a bit more of a tour. So. You can see there, those are the wash boxes. Just give you a little pan round, bear with. <laughs> There's Jam saying, I hope I'm not having a bath. Let's just have a look at this golden paste rug because it's gorgeous. Jammy, Ooh. Look at that, big thank you to my amazing sponsor, the Golden Paste Company. Keeping all of my ponies happy, healthy, with gorgeous coats and lovely joints. Don't worry, you're not having a bath yet. So there's the bath. That tent there is the vet tent. These are the FEI stables. So all of the competition horses, jumping horses, dressage horses, as you can see there, they're all stable there. These stables are very much highly, highly secured, as you can see. Security guard there. And then our stables are, whoops, just down there. Jamie, that's uh, Ben Mayer's horse. Maybe we shouldn't leap on top of that. It's funny how horses just have no idea where they are. Jam doesn't know how cool this is. And then if we go up here, this is where we'll go tomorrow. So the warm-up arena is through there and the main arena is literally up past where those curtains are. Jam says I'm a bit worried about the music, to be honest. <laughs> is this a bit crazy, Bams? It's a bit crazy. People keep looking at her. I wonder if they think that she's a 148 jumper. She's so special. Right, because she is literally the most chilled horsey in all the land, come out to the outside exercise bit. Obviously only in hand, um, but it's all, all secured. I can't believe how brave she is. Like, look at all this. This is for a horse to walk past this as if it's nothing. I think it's almost like 
there's so much to look at that she doesn't even know what she'd want to look at. So we're just, we're just rolling with it. Out hacking, you'd certainly have a little look at that, wouldn't you, Bam Bam? Not entirely sure where this is gonna take us out, but we will investigate. Jam's one of those horses that just loves to walk. She likes to be busy. She also really likes to have a purpose. So when she came outside, she was very much like, oh yes, I feel like we're going somewhere now. Oh look, Gash has turned around. Come on, turn around here. Well done. Good girl. So lucky to have Jam. Like, how good is she really? Honestly, you're a little legend. Little legend. Oh, Jam. And that's the outside walking area. One thing you guys might be wondering is where on earth do you muck out when you're in the middle of London? Where's the muck heap? And the answer is in these bins. <laughs> a little bit different to your normal events where you have a big muck heap at the end of the stables. Here they just have big orange bins, pop your droppings in there. You can see carpet is not the best flooring for horses. Quite a few shavings everywhere. So, once walkies are done, it's tea time. Jammy enjoying a very sloppy feed there. Important to try and get as many liquids into them as possible, especially when they're in these stressful situations because often they won't drink as much as they normally would at home. However, I don't know if you can see her water bucket, she has actually been quite good about drinking. Tail is all looking pretty white. Gorgeous rug. It's hard to know what to do temperature wise in here because obviously we are indoors, but it is open to the element, elements down there. I don't know if you can see there's a nose. Hmm. A nose may or may not appear up there. Jam's uh, made a stable friend already, <laughs> bless her. But yeah, it's hard to know what to do rug wise. When I was speaking to Dan Delzar earlier, because he's got Granby here. He said they keep changing the heating, so you don't really know what to put on them. But I'm gonna leave her in this cooler now, and then we have got a thin neck stable rug that we might pop on her a bit later. But the nice thing is, is where we walked up there is literally the show. So it's so easy, I can come back and check on her like between performances, which is very, very cool. Right, I'm gonna let her have her supper now in peace. And then we're gonna go off and watch some show jumping. I think that will probably wrap up this video guys. I hope you've enjoyed seeing taking a horse to London. Very new experience for me and possibly new experience for YouTube or you guys watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, a comment. Tomorrow is demo day with Pippa Funnel. We actually met Pippa earlier down here because she has got two billy horses which are doing the fancy dress relay tonight so really nice to meet her she's just the most lovely person she's exactly how she is or how she comes across in all the interviews and everything like in person she's just lovely and i really can't wait i'm so excited for tomorrow it's going to be definitely one of the best days ever i think put a lot of pressure on it Anywho, Jamie is going to be tucked up in bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. I live, love, and love you. Bye. As I mentioned at the start of this video, it is very kindly sponsored by the amazing Squarespace. Now, if you've been wanting to start your own website but don't know where on earth to start, Stay where you're sitting because I'm going to tell you all about this amazing online platform. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. 
You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy-to-use platform. You can create a community on your Squarespace website with fully integrated commenting systems that support threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. So if any of that takes your fancy, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you get ready to launch your very own website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Elphic and it will get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A big thank you to Squarespace for kindly sponsoring this video. Sunflower